Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies 2. Today we are moving on to a new world. Of course we are all finished up with Neon Mixtape Tour which was very, very difficult. And a lot of you told me to get ready because the next couple of worlds are way, way tougher. And we're gonna see that for ourselves as we move on over to the Jurassic, Jurassic Marsh? Jurassic Marsh it is. Alrighty, so as you can see the Jurassic Marsh, the ground thunders under the awful feet of terrible lizards. Dinosaurs prowl the past, provoking prehistoric zombies into a frenzy of ancient antipathy. I don't know if I pronounced it right. I don't really even know what antipathy means. But yeah, we got a whole bunch of cool looking plants, another mushroom in this one. I'm excited to see it. So let's use our key. 42 levels. Wow, that's insane. That's more than we've ever seen. 32 has been our maximum, even with these worlds back here that had the 10 bonus levels. Man, oh man, that's crazy. 42 of them, how many of them are bonus? I guess we'll find out as we go along. I, I don't even know what to say about that. That's gonna be a long time. So, yeah, we'll just be trying to get the first 10 levels done today. I just want to quickly scroll through. Where is Zomboss? That's probably the Endless. Uh, That's not Zomboss. That might be Zomboss. That'd be even be 32. Okay, so that would actually make sense if that's Zomboss. And then usually Zomboss is like rematched at the end. So maybe that's the idea? Yeah, that's the idea. Okay, so it ends at 32 and then there's 10 bonus levels. Very interesting. Okay, so we got a lot on our plate to deal with. Let's get started with the first thing, which is going to be, of course, uh, level one. <laughs> I won't be using the travel log anymore, by the way. I'm so sorry. I just, oh my gosh. Hey, look at these two. Alert, user Dave. My sensors indicate we have moved 153,954,765 years into the past. That's a really long time. Yeah, Bruce, that's before I was even born. <laughs> Correct, we seem to have landed in some form of Jurassic Marsh. I know I smelled more oxygen. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess I was more oxygen on the planet in the past. Well, look at this, we already got a new plant. Primal Pea Shooter shoots heavy, stunning peas. I already got a level up for them, haven't even played them yet. I'm really excited. Okay, so I don't know what to start with. I think that we'll just keep things pretty basic for now. Maybe I can get like a cherry bomb or something. Yeah, because I don't really know how this pea shooter works is the thing. I don't think a magna stream is gonna work either because those bucket heads aren't actually buckets. They're just slabs of stone. Huh. Well, maybe I can do this, you know, say something goes really bad. You can do something like rotabaga. And then lastly, I don't know, Endurian. <laughs> Just choosing things at random because I'm not really sure what the strategy is supposed to be just yet. Oh, I love the the fossil imprinting on the tiles. That's really cool. Wow. Okay, so the the primal pea shooter is a bit on the expensive side. Got to keep that in mind. Oh, I like the music. It's like a banjo. <laughs> he sort of looks like a Flintstones caveman. I get it. He's got the, the, the tie and everything. Well, I mean, of course, all the zombies have the tie, but like, I, that's also the idea. He's supposed to look like a Flintstones kind of guy, I think. Oh man, the music here is cool. Oh, I like it a lot. So this is gonna be interesting. We're going from 1980s to way, way, way in the past with dinosaurs, apparently, we're gonna find. I, I'm excited to see that, actually. I could do a, eh, no, it's not used to do, uh, worth a do, to do a cherry bomb. I could do this though, and maybe an Endurian. Like, let's try something like that. And I should probably also save up for the Primal Pea Shooter. Whoa, that's a that's a big rock. It just fires out there. Okay. So the Endurian's attacking back. So maybe we should just work on the Primal Pea Shooters for now. Let's not get too carried away with anything else. I don't want to be like Neon Mixtape Tour where I'd get a plant and then immediately forget and never plant it down for a couple levels. Okay, got that there. This is surely gonna be interesting. Especially like the cone heads, once again, it's just like plants tied together and then put on their head. It's very interesting. So there should be a whole host of primal plants, I, I believe. This is gonna be an interesting experience. I'm looking forward to this. It might be tough, but we'll work through it. We'll try our best and we'll see how things go. So I'm just gonna do one row of primals and try just getting some rotabagas out. Okay, got the 150 for another rotabaga. Then we can get endurians. 
<laughs> yeah, these guys look ridiculous. Oh, that zombie on the top actually has a, uh, a Triceratops, I think? Triceratops skull on it. That's cool. Hmm. Let's, uh, get, oh, actually, no, I have all the rotobigas I want. Well, we'll put an Enduring out that way. Don't know if I'll need it. Hopefully I don't. But yeah, two flags on the first level. That's different. So, let me keep on earning up sun. Almost got enough for another Endorian in just a moment. There it is. You know what, this is a perfect place for this, so I might as well. Hopefully it'll be charged back up for the, uh, the final wave, but it might not be. Might have gone a little too soon. Get that there. But hopefully we unlock the Primal Pea Shooter for this, or at least very soon. I didn't really check. Try to ignore those while I can so that it's still a surprise. There we go. Got oh, I missed out on a sun there. That's fine, we still have 250, so we're doing pretty well. Huge wave of zombies are approaching, and I will be able to have the cherry bomb. It's almost available. No, I just can't afford it is all. Okay, so, lots of zombies. There's some more plant food, so you know what? I'm gonna try this out. Whoa, he just starts firing and knocks them back too. I mean, it's always doing that is the thing. Is it? Yeah, I guess it is always knocking the zombies back. That's really good. Cause I didn't know if that was how much, like maybe the stronger zombies, like I, I'm guessing a gargantua, it probably won't push back as much. But that's still good to keep in mind. It's working pretty well cause these zombies is like, even if they're strong and they can handle a lot, they can't get out ahead. That's not what I wanted to do. Whoopsies, let's just do this. There we go. <laughs> this is to speed that up a little bit more. Okay, so the first day of Jurassic Marsh is completed and we get ourselves a primal pea shooter. Nice. I'm liking it already. And that's why I wanna hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on the uh, on the Jurassic Marsh? Do you think this world's good, bad? If you guys have any advice for me, I'll always be listening for it. Primal pea shooter is sling something, serious rocks. Let's open this up and then I won't go to the next level through the uh, the travel log. A lot of you let me know that that's what's making it so I miss out on cutscenes. I also have to level him up anyways. So I don't wanna do that. It seems to only work some of the time is the thing. Is that only sometimes will it, you know, cut out the cutscenes. So I will read the next thing, which of course is unlock Primal Walnut. Build up the fences quickly with the fast planting Primal Walnut. Complete Jurassic Mark day four, day four. Which we're not doing now, we're gonna exit to the map and get that level up figured out. So there's level one completed. Let's go over here to the Almanac and find the Primal Pea Shooter right here and level you up for a thousand coins. We get the toughness from 300 to 325. We have the damage and the plant food power damage. That's cool. And we have two experience into our 50 that we need. So that's pretty cool. We got something going on. Now I don't know if there's anything particularly new or interesting about those uh, zombies we've already run into, but I might as well peek at them right now since we are already on the almanac. And just sort of see what we run into. That's the uh, Frostbite Caves. This is all the Neon Mixtape Tour. Here we go. So, Jurassic Cone Head. We got like stuff like the Jurassic Fossil Head. Fossil skulls not only provide a huge amount of damage but absorption, but they're also extremely classy. Okay, uh, and then of course we got like the Jurassic Flag Zombie, and then there's a Jurassic Imp, which we haven't seen, we must have saw that in some kind of bonus level. Okay, well, you know, now we know. What we wanna do is just move on to the next level. Sounds good to me. So, moving on to level two. So hopefully, if there was anything with Crazy Dave and Penny, we'll be able to see it now. Yeah, there is, hi. This epoch is known for its unusual life forms. User Dave. I know, gymnasparms, right? I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I was thinking more in terms of saurians, user Dave. Dinosaurs. They won't attack us directly and we can't affect them. However, they will definitely react to zombies. Be wary. Okay, I love the art to this one. Like all the dinosaur eggs and the bones and the colorful plants. So there's dinosaurs, I can see them. But yeah, sometimes I try to, I'm trying so hard to read everything properly, what they actually said sort of goes in one ear and out the other. Oh well, it's fine, we'll just have to try to figure this out. I don't know how to deal with these zombies, or not the zombies, it's the dinosaur I'm worried about. I don't think it'll tell me in the almanac before I go against them, but I guess I should check now just in case. So much scrolling, so much scrolling, 
And... Yeah, it's not here yet. Okay. I guess we're just gonna have to wing it. That's fine. I mean, I'll be able to read through this again, but like... Yeah, I don't know what, it, what it's gonna do. So... It will definitely react to zombies, be wary. Okay, so... Something with the zombies. Maybe they'll try to eat the zombies. That'd be cool. <laughs> that helped me out a little bit. We'll get a cherry bomb just in case. I feel like that'll be our best protection against something like that. And... What else? I could do something like Red Stinger would be fun. Maybe Stally has to slow them down a bit more. And... Hmm... Let's do like... I don't actually... Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Why not? I don't even know what I'm doing. Once we get farther in, we know what the zombies do, we have a better idea with what the, how the plants in this area work, it'll be easier to form a strategy. That's usually how this works, of course. Right now, we just sort of have to do our best. I'm gonna use that Stalia to slow things down for a bit. Just so I can get this figured out. Now I can get the potato mine up. Got it. We already are starting to be able to afford a Red Stinger, but I wanna get up the two lanes of sunflowers as soon as possible. Okay, so we got you. I'm gonna slow you down again so I can just sort of be prepped with another potato mine about there. A lot of you were encouraging me to use potato mines a bit more often because definitely I do fall in this rut where I choose a potato mine and then I only use it once or twice for the beginning zombies. Definitely can make more, but I don't know what to do about you. You're scary. No, I missed ya. Uh oh. Oh, he's walking away. What? He's just waiting for a zombie then. Is that the idea? It has to be. Um, let's put this, push this guy back a little bit, maybe. That'd be great. Uh, let's also do this. I don't even know. What what happened to him? I'm so focused on the other zombies. He, they're scary though. They freak me out. Okay, so you see, there's one right there. What's gonna happen then? He's just sort of hanging out for now, being as menacing as possible. Whoa, whoa! They kick the zombies ahead. Okay then, cherry bomb for you then, buddy. But can we not get rid of them? Oh, that's a problemo, right there, if I've ever seen one. What do we do about that? You know what, no, don't, I probably shouldn't have done that. That was an impulse move. Uh, slow you down a little bit, just like this. Primal pea shooter can push him back a little bit. Speaking of primal pea shooter, I really need one somewhere else too, like here. Man, oh man, see like, that doesn't get rid of them. They're invincible, that's scary. So like my best bet is to get those primal pea shooters up as soon as possible so that they can get pushed back. But they just, they just do whatever they please, don't they? Oh my gosh. I need more primal pea shooters so we can knock them back as soon and as quick as possible then. That's my most effective strategy. Come on now, we can do this. I know we can. Got it. So like we can push him back pretty quick now because we got more than one primal pea shooter. Is that enough though? Seems like that's the answer to that's a big old no. There's no zombies up here. So let's do this, that, and that. This seems to work pretty well. Okay, good. I don't like how the dinosaurs can just do what they please and they're absolutely invincible. I'm starting to already see the concerning difficulties of this world. Oh gosh. Come on now. You can do it, you can do it. He's almost down. Probably should just use the cherry bomb. Okay, Jurassic Marsh Day 2 completed. Not without its headaches though. <laughs> we get some coins for it. We're getting closer to 70,000 coins, which is crazy. So yeah, we gotta keep going until we unlock Primal Walnut. We'll get there, that's for sure. Okay, so our Jurassic March, Marsh trip is continuing. No, maybe these are electric current. They might be something else too. Uh, but apparently the thing I thought was electric current was actually this electric blueberry. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Hold on, let's get a melon pull it. Let's do this. That is bizarre. That seems almost impossible to discern where exactly everything is gonna go. I don't know if I should have done that. <laughs> this is weird. I'm gonna do this for now. Not the best option for me. Okay, try this here. Whoa, so the the, the closer up ones get instantly destroyed, so. How do I wanna handle this? 
Got lots of zombies coming in. Can I get another melon pole? That'd be splendid. Okay, you know what? I have to get rid of you because you're just sort of the biggest danger I have. Uh, I actually don't want to knock you away. I want them in front of the melon pulls, is the thing. Stop kicking them ahead. Oh no, oh no. This is actually getting really quickly a problematic situation. Okay, is these guys on that second to the top lane now I have to be worried about? I could just do this current thing. And that sort of did an okay thing. I'm gonna do this, oh no, oh no. I don't know if that's actually gonna work. Uh, explode them. This is a bizarre level. Cause I pressed next level, but I didn't do it through the travel log. Did that get rid of Crazy Dave and Penny's audio as well? Or not audio, dialogue, you know what I mean. Maybe it did, so I just gotta go out to the map every time. Okay. Well, I better do that just to be safe then. That was probably overdoing it. These dinosaurs are no good though. I thought that they'd be a little bit different than this, but this is honestly worse than I could imagine because I thought they would just be riding the dinosaurs, you know? Okay, so I don't know what to do without this guy. Like, what if I just, with the, I know this doesn't work in PBZ1, but maybe I could just like juggle them between. Probably not. Okay, that does some stuff. That got rid of a lot of zombies, wowee. That doesn't happen often. Okay, come on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, not my melon pole. Not my melon pole, he was so good. Oh no, okay, now he's moving over here. Wait, 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 eat this instead. Okay, ready, set, go for it. Yeah, that's one heck of a plant. So I think this is just about the last event. Okay, that damaged those guys a little bit. Sweet. We're almost there. We can speed this up now, I think. Yep, yep, yep. Boom. You got it. So there we go. There's Jurassic Marsh. Day three done. This is stressful. Okay, one step farther though. So this time I'm gonna exit to the map. Okay, so day number four coming in. This is where we're gonna unlock that primal walnut, so that'll be interesting for sure. All right, so let's see our trip to the Jurassic Marsh. Once again, it didn't have anything this time, so I guess we're just supposed to keep going with the flow. I'm gonna get the primal pea shooter for sure. Should be down here somewhere, just right there. Honestly, I think that my best bet would be getting that as much as possible. We could try something interesting though. If I wanna like rush sun as fast as possible, like this might be my best bet. It might not be. I don't know, I'll have to find out. Hmm. I'll do potato mine, I'll do iceberg lettuce. And then cherry bomb, just in case things go bad. Also, where is that plant? Right here, grape shot. It's of course a premium. Very interesting plant for sure. And then maybe I could do like melon pulp. Try to follow in its footsteps of the previous level. And let's get things speeding along as fast as we can. Okay. Got our first zombie showing up, and it's very concerning that the dino is there. Maybe if I get him frozen, the dino still might kick him, is the problem. Will we give him a good kick? Not yet. It is funny how the zombies just sort of have, or the dinos just have fun basically bullying. The dinos, yeah, they have a basically fun just bullying the, the zombies. Don't you kick him again. Don't you dare. I'm gonna report you to the dinosaur police for being a not cool guy because there's not much I could have done about that. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Come on, I'm doing this before it becomes a problem. Cause that's so not fair. You shoot the zombie that's literally right on top of you. Oh, that's super upsetting. Then what do you do about that? My strategy is gonna fall apart if the game just is mean to me. I'm gonna do this. It might seem silly, but I think it's actually our best bet. I wanna freeze that guy a little bit. Gosh, this is crazy. I'm gonna put this here just to slow him down a second. Get that there. I'm gonna use the plant food here, I guess. Don't really have too much other choice at the moment. It's crazy. These dinosaurs, they just give you no room to do anything. No, 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 no. Yeah, thank you, Primal. There we go. I need one right here. Potato mine's gonna save the day for now over that way. 
Oh no, what do I do about this guy? I just have to try this. Not what I wanted to do. But it's what I had to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Freeze this guy. Maybe put a potato mine here just to slow him down for a moment. Oh boy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, there's nothing I can do. I can't even knock him back. That is super duper bogus. I am so unhappy about that one. I'm gonna have to cherry bomb him when it just comes back up, right? Like, that's really the best I can do. Don't you dare. And then do this. I, 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 that was probably not the best idea, but nothing here seems to be the best idea. This is crazy. Like, maybe when the tall nut comes in. Like, yeah, I could see that working, because with the tall nut, we could maybe block it off so those guys can't be knocked a certain place or too far, you know? So, like, that's gonna be better. So I could see that being my next big goal then. Oh, but that is just total baloney. I can just kick him so far ahead. I just need to set up the primal pea shooters pretty far back is another thing, is, because if not, I get in trouble like this. There we go. One of those guys had plant food. We will use that when we need it. That is for sure. Come on now. I'm ready for another primal pea shooter whenever the game is. Right now. Very good. Need a little bit more sun. More of it's coming in. I don't think the sunbeam helped as much as I imagined it would. So really it is just rushing as many primal pea shooters as I can right now. Like that is the, the strategy I just need to make work. Even then, as you can see, it's almost impossible for these guys not to get damaged at least a little bit. And that's just upsetting. Pretty upsetting, gotta be honest. Come on, I almost have enough, almost have enough. Just one more sun. There we go, got it. Let's speed things up a little bit, I think. I'm about getting to that point where it's just like, I've done what I can do. I'm gonna run up as much as I possibly can here for now. So these guys with the dinosaur heads, it doesn't really knock them back most of the time, only some of the time. It's like the kernel pulled, I guess. Only some of the attacks will actually work that way, where, and I know I haven't used any melon pulls. I really haven't had the opportunity or the means to make something like that work, gotta be honest. But uh, the, the kernel pulls, they only, give butter some of the time. Come on. Put that there. Do a bit of that. Hopefully it's not even needed. So we survived. Not very eloquently, but we did survive, so that's great. And now we get ourselves the primal tall nut. Where's the primal walnut? It is a primal walnut. Quick planting wall that blocks off zombies. Okay, that's what I wanna see. So let's see what we get for our travel log reward. Um, we should be getting a pinata, and yes we do. As you can see, it has 100 coins, two experience for the primal pea shooter, two experience for the primal walnut, getting him to five out of 10 already, and next quest is going to be unlocking the perfume shroom, charm dinosaurs and sick them on the zombies with perfume shrooms. Ooh, here we go, we're getting our, uh, I guess our, our comeuppets, something like that. I don't know, let's exit to the map. So level five, let's hop into it. Hope everything turns out okay. Oh boy, I'm a bit nervous. But now we get to use this uh, Primal Walnut, hopefully. Yeah, it's already pre-selected for us, so let's get the Sunflower and this combo out there. And then beyond that, I wanna keep things relatively cheap. I mean, obviously I want the Primal Pea Shooter. But then maybe the Stalia. Maybe a puff shroom would be good. I don't know, actually that might be a bad idea. Cherry bomb, just for safety, I think would be great. So, let's get to it. As you can see, things are going pretty well. We got Jurassic Marsh day five. And I'll just have to sort of be ready to place this, uh, this walnut wherever a zombie first pops up. I think is gonna be our best bet. There we go. So yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna slow this guy down and freeze him. I don't know, I probably should've done that the other way around with setting up the uh, potato mine. But hey, it's fine. Okay, so here's our first one. I'm gonna put him 
I mean, technically, I would like it here. Oh, but he just knocked around. Blah, 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 blah. The whole point, I thought. Well, what the heck? You're kidding me, right? Come on. Give me a second. Give me a second. I need, I need time to think. Jeez. I thought that was the whole point. Was well, that I was going to make it so that this guy couldn't kick them over? Didn't it say that? <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, at least they get put down very quickly, but what's the point in that even? Just, ah, I don't understand now. Here's a plant. This is presumably what you do with it. Never mind. Just, oh man. The good thing is that they do restore really, really quickly, but that's only so useful. Boom, got a good rid of, got rid of a good couple in there. Ugh, this is just not gonna be easy no matter what then. I didn't mean to put it way over there, actually. So you really can't, you really need to be able to do like one row of sunflowers and then the primal right after that. You can't not because of how close these zombies got. Honestly, it would be a situation where like a chomper would be good. Like maybe bong choy. Hmm. Just thinking of different strategy I can maybe make work so that when the zombies are right on top of us, we can protect ourselves. Because a primal pea shooter doesn't do that very well. Most projectile based plants just don't. Okay, ooh, they've just barely got themselves out of that situation, that's good. There we go. So we got more primal pea shooters set up in a better way now than before. The only problem, of course, is less sunflowers. But I'm hoping I can maybe do sunflowers, primal, primal, sunflowers. Like, that'll work for now. And that's maybe the strategy I should work towards in general. We'll have to wait and see. So these primal walnuts get a and away pretty quickly, but they do get restored very fast as well. So I could see it being a pretty prominent thing to do. I can see the use in it for sure. It's sort of like a get yourself out of a pickle kind of plant. Because there's nothing you can do to stop the zombies from being kicked over it apparently. Maybe a proper tauna could help us there. Which I thought this is what this was gonna be. It looked more like a tauna than a walnut, but I was wrong. Okay, let's do this. And we should be fine with this. This is the last wave anyway, so I can just go ahead and cherry bomb these guys. Freeze you in place. There we go, this is the last zombie. We win, so we got through day five all right. It was a bit of a stress at times, but we figured it out. <laughs> I'm gonna slow him down too. I, don't, I probably shouldn't have done that. There we go. Okay, well we win, that's good. 24 more seed packs before we get that quest done. Let's keep it moving. So we're halfway done through with levels in today's episode. Now moving on to level number six. I'm gonna keep, try to keep with the 10 levels a day structure. It might become a little bit more difficult towards the end of the world just like it did with Neon Mixtape Tour. I'm totally prepared for that. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, I can feel the ground a trembling, Penny. More dinos? Indeed, user Dave. A herd of Stegosaurus approaches. My sensors indicate they will snare zombies with their tail and then flick them off. That's what I would do. <laughs> I'm guessing it would be. So, huh. Yeah, there they are. That's gonna be interesting. I am having a hard time visualizing what that might end up being like by the end of all this. But I'm gonna do the whole setup. Like maybe instead of Iceberg Lettuce, maybe that's not gonna be as helpful as I think it is. And then we can get a bong choy in and try to see if that'll save the day. It may not. I'm gonna keep the bong choy for now. Sort of just have it at the ready, I suppose. Right now my biggest bet is to earn up some flowers, as per usual. Okay. Already got our first row done. Our second row is actually gonna be where the potato mine is. Oh, he's on that same lane. A row. From left to right, it's it's lane. Up to down, it's rows. As far as I can tell. That's how I usually refer to it as, at the least. Um, can I get another one real fast? I can, so here's the Stegosaurus. This is sure to be interesting. Let's try this out. So he's going away, and now he's coming back. Slow him down. Oh no, not only does he do that, but he even spreads them the different lanes. 
This is exactly what I was trying to wait for. Hmm, this is a mess. Do a bit of that. I'm gonna try to earn up another Primal Pew Shooter for right there. I'm thinking I might need some extra sun with that plant food, but we'll, we'll wait and see. I don't know how I feel about that Sigasaurus. Like, dinosaurs! Super cool, I love dinosaurs. But dinosaurs and plants versus zombies so far? Nightmare, total nightmare. Let's get that there. I'm gonna slow these zombies way down. That's what it needs right now. So we'll see how this goes with the bonk choy maybe. Yeah, I think I'll just continue making more bonk choys. I don't know if that's the best idea though. Oh, it is so hard to decide. Like maybe it would have been better to do sunflo sunflowers, primal pea shooters, sunflowers, bonk choy, walnut. Because right now, this doesn't work very well, but this could. Yeah, just beat him up. Slow this guy down a little bit, maybe. There we go, I definitely needed to do that. So I'm gonna get more sunflowers and try to get more bonk trees. Like, I know I need two rows of sunflowers as well, so that's like where this gets really tough. I mean, maybe I've gone enough so that I can make my way through, but I don't think I have, is the problem. There we go, slow these two down. I was hoping it was gonna slow down that third guy as well. It did not. We'll live, but it won't be easy. There we go, come on. Our last bong choy goes right there. Do another one of those. Keep it going. This is where things get problematic though. Get ready for it. Oh, bong choy showing him who's boss. I like it. Come on. Oh, this guy's gonna be a problem now. Oh, he's gonna be a problem. But we got rid of him. Nice, okay. I do have a cherry bomb and I probably should use it here. Right there, right there, boom! All those zombies going bye-bye. Nice, okay, so we got this, we got this, this is fine. Not a bad strategy then, I might keep rolling with that with the, the Primal Pea, Primal Walnut, and Bong Choy. How cool would it be if there was a Primal Bong Choy? I don't think there is. I don't know if there's any other iterations on the Bong Choy. I think it's just Bong Choy. Sort of a shame when you think about it. You know, like the Snapdragon has like a cold version of the Snapdragon. It'd be cool to see something with the uh, Anyways, we get a pinata for that. Let's see what's inside. Probably some experience for our primal uh, or Jurassic Marsh plants. That'll be cool to see. Open it up. We get ourselves another hundred coins. Three experience for the f perfume stream, which we haven't even unlocked yet, and four experience for the primal pea shooter. Nothing for the primal walnut though, unfortunately. So let's keep it moving. Day seven, don't let the zombies trample the flowers. Oh no, these episodes are getting longer and longer. So, not trampling the flowers. Okay, so what's interesting about this is that it's actually also a conveyor belt level. Oh no. See, what do you really, can you do? It makes it seem like there's a way to make it so that these zombies aren't gonna be knocked past a walnut, but they just get knocked past a walnut. It's very odd. I'm gonna get that there. So they're gonna start spinning those zombies everywhere. I'm gonna do this. Try to get myself ready for something. Cause I feel like I need it. Okay, we get this. Haven't tried the plant food on the primal walnuts just yet. Feels like I might have to here in a second if I don't get more. Come on, come on. That was sort of silly. Where are my plants at? Where are my attack plants? Probably shouldn't have done that. We'll find out, I suppose. Everybody's getting launched over the flowers right now anyways, which is the silly thing. Let me go ahead and do this. He's just covered in stone. It's actually pretty cool. Wait, what? Which zombies trample the flowers? It doesn't show me. It looked like the only one I saw there was a dinosaur. Does the dinosaur count? Because I want to make any sense. So I'm gonna be trying this again. Hopefully it turns out a little bit better this time. I'm gonna put this here. Because if not, yeah, he's gonna, I got it. Because if not, he would've just trampled right over those flowers. So this one zombie should be kept back well enough by a primal pea shooter, I think. So we can start spreading this around. I was trying to get one thing for every lane right now, because that's what I really need the most of. Got it. And maybe I just didn't see something right and a zombie got over, but I just didn't see that. So I can only assume that's not the case. This is where I want to slow things down 
And maybe because, yeah, it's not gonna give me anything else, which is sort of silly. I wanna say that this is a good spot for that. We got another one. I gotta put it here. I would like to hold on to it and save it, but I can't. There's no way. Oh, is that the problem? He's gonna push him back onto the on the flowers. I think that's the issue. Is that it pushed the, the zombie back so far that he trampled the flowers that way. That seems like a really tough thing to prevent. No, 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 what do you do? That is tricky. That is really tricky. So here's the thing. I didn't realize I could plant on the flowers. I swear that wasn't a thing in like, because well, wasn't this also a quest in PvZ1? Or a type of mini game you could do? Pretty sure that's not how it worked in PvZ1. So maybe that, that's what I'm getting messed up here. So as long as I can, will he get him? I think he should. As long as I can just keep this like this, we should be fine. Okay, get him there. Just trying to do things on like an as needed basis at the moment. And right now I'm gonna need something here to keep that zombie back from being on the flowers over there. There we go, there we go. Already got a plant food, which is good. I have a cherry bomb for if things get nasty, which is great, because things are starting to look pretty nasty. I'm gonna cherry bomb this group, because that's a lot of zombies. It didn't get the bucket head though, darn. I got another one. I'm gonna try to pay attention at the health of the of the primal one. That's more than anything else. Because the moment he's looking a little bit more worse for wear, I gotta do, I probably should have put that one lane lower. I could have actually gotten more than one zombie. Silly me. Okay, so we got this. We gotta put it in the in the center lane maybe, or maybe not, maybe we could put it down here. Is that actually gonna get anything though? Yeah, I guess it does get those buckets still. Didn't know if it was going to. I thought it was gonna like, you know, put that out on a technicality because it's not even made technically. I mean, I'm sure there could be metal within it. I suppose it could have some ore of some sort. Okay, we need to get rid of this group. And that was a good idea. I'm gonna replace that one. Oh boy. Get another primal there. Oh, this is risky. Will those pea shooters, those primal peas hold on tight? I think they will. No, 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 leave that magnet shroom alone. Leave him alone. You didn't leave him alone, because you're not nice. Okay. Trying to pay attention to the facial expression of all the uh, primal walnuts, and so far it's turning out pretty all right. Okay, so I could be just snappy about this and get rid of a good chunk of zombies right away. And doing that definitely seemed to have helped. So can we do it? I'm thinking we can. I'm gonna do this so we can get rid of that guy a little bit more. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna do that too. We got way too many walnuts here. <laughs> Let's do this then. I don't know what I'm waiting for. All righty, there we go. Day seven of Jurassic Marsh fi fi figured out it was that I had to put the primal walnuts on top of the flower, something I didn't realize I could do. Okay, we get another pinata for this one. Back to back pinatas, pretty cool. Um, Let's see what we get inside. And then level after this, we should be getting the perfume shroom. That's exciting. We get 100 coins. Three experience for the primal sunflower, exciting. And three experience for the primal potato mine. Didn't even know it was a thing. Actually, no, it was in PBC Heroes. Anyways, awesome stuff. I'm gonna exit to the map. Okay, level number eight. Hopefully we get the perfume shroom without too much of an issue. Maybe uh, we'll even get like a little sampling. Cause sometimes the levels you unlock the plants, you get a sampling of it. All right, here's Crazy Dave and Penny. I have analyzed a new plant user, Dave. The perfume shroom charms dinosaurs and turns them against the zombies. Dinosaur power? On our side, this is taco level great news. All right, so we get to use the dinosaurs for ourselves. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that is exciting. That is really exciting. So I wanna do a similar setup to what we did before, I think, with the bonk choice. It seemed to pan out pretty well. Not this, not the Snapdragon, sorry. I need something that can attack both backwards and forwards, and then a cherry bomb just to be safe. Hopefully I didn't miss anything too important. There we go, get another sun. Get another sunflower. 
I do really like this world so far. Very interesting. It's 150 sun for you. That's expensive, if you haven't noticed. That's real expensive. Okay, so what'll this do? Now he's lovely, but I'm in big trouble. Unless I can get a bong choy. I don't know if that bong choy is gonna be enough. So it isn't really that he does anything for me, it's that he just doesn't do much of anything at all. There we go, I'm gonna do that for now. Might seem silly, but that was just weird. I just didn't really have the time to make 150 sun there. Let's do that. Hopefully the primal sunflower will produce more sun more quickly, because that's something I really just need at the moment. You know, at this point I'm thinking I probably should have gotten, I'm gonna do this for now, probably should have gotten myself. Oh, he's kicking away, look at him go! Yeah, now he's working. Thank you so much. And he's like that forever? Let's hope so. I wanted to be my best friend forever. Let's do that. Man, I'm in so much trouble right now though. I just can't get enough sun out. Uh, potato mine here for sure. I would love to get more sun out, but I just, I don't have the room. I'm trying to make things work. I'm gonna get rid of this walnut for now. And we'll have to wait and see what ends up happening with that dinosaur, if he goes back to his normal dinosaur self or not. I really hope not. I hope he can stay the way he is for ever, <laughs> because it's so helpful. Okay, uh, I need 150 sun right now. I need it yesterday. That's how quick I need it at the moment. There we go, come on, you, you, help me out, help me out, thank you, thank you. Oh gosh, what am I doing about this guy though? Give him the primal walnut, I guess. Jeez Louise. Do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's only so much I can do. The re the like the reload rate on this is super slow. Oh, what are, what would the Oh gosh. I wanna see what the perfume shrimp will do. Oh, I mean, can we use that as a plant food too? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna do this. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Help me, help me, help me! No, I don't know if it's gonna help me. I don't know if this guy will. Ah, oh, did he get to the wall to the lawnmower? I guess he did. Man, that's tough. See now this now the uh, Sigasaurus likes me too. That's cool. I'll gladly take it. Come on, I'm doing what I can here. I need more sun. I need more everything. I'm gonna do this. Might be a bad idea, but at the same time I can get this going on. So eventually, I don't know what which uh, dinosaur. I guess he just eventually left because we did have a dinosaur in that lane that we just used that on. He's not there anymore. Come on, more sun, more sun, more sun. Get it there, that's not gonna stop that guy. Okay, now it will, cool. Come on, I'm trying my best. I really am. Okay, so this started to turn out the way I needed it to, right towards the end. I mean, maybe I should've just done a cherry bomb. You know what, I'm just gonna do that now then. Just grab all that stuff, cherry bomb this. Boom, this guy's still over here though. Didn't even see him. All right, we should be fine though. I can just do uh, that and get him beat up like that too, because why not? Very interesting plant so far though, perfume shroom. Oh, was that everything? That was everything, so now we have the perfume shroom unlocked. We can use that mushroom whenever we please. Ah, oh, she looks beautiful. <laughs> I was hoping she'd have some kind of attacking power too. That's sort of a shame she doesn't, but hey, we'll just move forward with what we got and see what ends up happening. So, we got the perfume shroom, charms dinosaurs against zombies. And as you can see, charm dinosaurs and you know, blah, 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 we already saw that. But we get ourselves some experience, which is always good. We're gonna get two experience for the primal walnut, two for the perfume shroom, and that's it. So our next quest is going to be unlock Primal Sunflower. Primal Sunflower is amid big, big suns. Complete Jurassic Marsh, day 17. Not doing that right now, that'll be next episode. So for right now, let's get back to the map. So that was very fun. I'm starting to think, with there being 32 levels for me to get to, I'm trying to find a good way to divide it because if I did 10 levels each, then it would be like, like one of the levels would actually have to be 12 levels. Instead, it would be 10, 10, 12 and that would just make for a really long episode. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll do four level, four episodes, each with eight levels. That way it'd be, you know, eight, 16, 24, 32. Um, so I'm gonna finish up with that, I think. But we had a lot of fun starting out with the uh, Jurassic Marsh, unlocking the Primal Pea Shooter, the Primal Walnut, and the Perfume Shroom. 
But we're not quite done. I do want to go to the travel log and do one last thing. The thing we'll be doing at the end of each episode, which is Epic Quest Explosive Plants. Definitely a good reason why you should watch to the end because you might get to see me do one of these. So yeah, definitely worthwhile, right? I hope so. Let's see what our fourth Explosive Plant Premium Quest will be. There's Gargantuar's waiting for me, so whatever it is, I'm scared. So we got some chili beans. Use these guys a lot last episode, a lot of chili beans. Um. Yep, a lot of chili beans. Let's hope that was a good idea. Because this is looking problematic. Maybe I should have gotten rid of that guy sooner, because he's throwing those gravestones everywhere. He's throwing them everywhere. Okay. Uh. Oh, get a uh, lightning reed. That's cool. Which one of these plants is explosive again? <laughs> I'm not really sure at the moment. Oh, whoa, he's new. Oh, he must be a, uh, what's it called? He must be from Jurassic Marsh. Guess we'll find out. Okay, this is crazy so far. I might have to slow you down. Just get rid of you that way. What does he do? He's got stones tied to his hands. Okay, I got more exploding nuts. Hopefully I don't need them. Oh, we got a bull. Oh no, yeah, that's the mechanical bull from Wild West. Can I just do this to you? No, did that work? Oh no, 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 no. Do this, do this, do this. Oh boy, that's a problem. Okay, that guy exploded it. Oh, I can't play on Scorch Tiles, duh. Oh, he scorches them, whoa, okay. That is crazy. We need to slow these guys down a bit. Do a bit of that. Come on, come on, come on, get rid of him. No, don't go for the bull, go for this guy. Oh, it's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna have to do another explode on that. I'm gonna do this, because before, I mean, I think that works, it's just he's like probably, he's like a mini gargantuar in some ways. It probably just takes more than one hit with that. Okay, this is crazy. This is ridiculous. There we go, that's gonna help. Explode and not do your thing, please, pretty please actually explode. Will he explode though? That's sort of the question at the moment. I guess I got past the one up top. Okay, I think he did, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, look at that. Okay, sweet. This is insane. We're almost done though. Sort of, kind of. So many gravestones. So they're trying to make it harder for me to plan on things. Which will of course make it harder to survive. Yep, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Let's put this about here. No, that's not gonna actually do anything. So will that be enough to do him in? It won't be. He's tough. He's a real tough dude. Okay, that'll be enough. Let's speed it back up again. We got plenty more zombies to go. I'm just sort of holding on these exploded nuts for now because I could use it here and then use it there again and then use it here and then use it there again. Like, get rid of them when they're all in one big cluster, and that'll be way, way, way more effective. Come on, yeah, there it is. Okay, that, that was a good strategy. Okay, so as you can see, we get ourselves a bunch of coins, and even more coins. So we're at 67,000 coins. Hopefully next episode we get a lot closer to 70,000 coins, and just two more of those to go before we're finally done that exploding quest. So that'll be fun. Alrighty, so that's gonna wrap it up. So those were the first eight levels of Jurassic Marsh and a little bit more action on top of that. Hope you guys are enjoying this world so far. I am really nervous for these upcoming levels. They are surely going to be really, really tough, but I guess we'll find out together in the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Jurassic Zebra so now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.